What's up, everyone? Welcome to the first episode of What is in the Mailbox. This is a small series brought to you by whatever I get in the mail, be it from someone actually wanting me to review it, or from me just making a purchase and testing out the item. So, without further ado, let's see what's in the mailbox. And, oh, tacos! That's a great start! Yeah, okay. We'll save those for later. Um, here we go. Actual product! This is the Tron Tang audio recorder. I was contacted by an Amazon group that wanted me to record and review their recorder. Hence this video. So here it is. Nicely wrapped. Pretty small in size overall. Let me get something. Here we have one American dollar. Fits right inside that one American dollar. So let's explore the contents of the box real quick. Got some protective foam. Got a little stand. Now here they give you a pair of little chintzy headphones, but we don't have those. Um, next is your USB to micro USB. And then a small little user manual giving you all the ins and outs and features. High quality linear PCM recording. Yeah, it's got its own little thing where you can monitor the levels. It's pretty cool. Alright. So it's got its own little thing here where you can monitor the levels. And it's pretty neat, actually. Um, shows recording in PCM at the 1500 kilobytes. Kilobits a second. It's actually pretty neat. Um, we'll test out its picking and see how that sounds. Yeah, it's got its own little thing where you can monitor the levels. It's pretty cool. All right. So it's got its own little thing here where you can monitor the levels. And it's pretty neat actually. Um, shows recording in PCM at the 1500 kilobytes, kilobits a second. It's actually pretty neat. Um, we'll test out its picking and see how that sounds. All right, so that was pretty interesting. It didn't quite stack up to the Zoom H4n, but that's an audio recorder on a little higher level. Um, but honestly, this is a pretty neat little quarter. Tronic Tang. Um, I would have to say that if anyone wants a recorder that is small, has a nice form factor, slips in your pocket, pretty quick turn on. Um, Zoom H4 takes about anywhere from like 30 seconds to 45 seconds to turn on. It's super annoying. This one takes about 5 to 7. It also picks up a lot of noise, which can be pretty bad. Even with the noise reduction on, it's still pretty prominent. But all in all, I'd say this is a pretty good little device, um, especially for a student who's not looking to spend that much money and wants something that fits nicely in their laptop bag along with all their other accoutrements. Plus it comes with headphones and a power jack. It doesn't come with a power adapter though. So that's something you need to keep in mind. Have this plugged into your laptop for five, six hours or have it plugged into a power adapter for maybe one or two. Um, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. But all in all, this is pretty nice. Um, nice front facing speaker here. This actually gets pretty loud, what I've observed. Let me turn it on real quick. Um, all the menu functions, those are pretty simple, pretty easy. Let's play some. So it's kind of funny, you actually hear a lot more noise with the headphones on than you do um, oh, this is interesting. through the actual recording. Yeah, it's got its own little thing where you can monitor the levels. It goes it's up to 31. Cool. All right. 
gets pretty loud. That's pretty interesting. So yeah, all in all, I'd say I'd give this a good, strong four and a half stars out of five, just for price range, quality, and size, and simplicity. So you can see on the screen, up here in the corner, it shows you how much time you have left. Um, there's your recordings, there's your battery, and then here's how long the recording was. There's the volume, only goes up to 31, and then there's your... Um, type and quality of the actual audio recording. Um, haven't gotten to the settings of this one too much, but it's pretty neat, I'll have to say. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, have a good night. Blah! Smash that like button. Where's those tacos?